in 2021, Colombia was swept with protests demanding reform from their government. But what was witnessed on the streets was far from peaceful. International human rights advocacy group Amnesty International recently posted images claiming to be from the protests to promote their reports on social media. However, any more than a momentary glance at the images reveals that these photographs were not real. They were created by artificial intelligence. What we witnessed in Colombia during 2021 was a systemic brutality used by their police to squelch the national protests. Amnesty International, as well as other observers, have documented hundreds of cases of human rights abuses through their research, and it has raised awareness of the Colombian police's heavy-handedness, contributing to the need for reform. But while Amnesty meant well in their efforts to bring attention to the issue and protect protesters from possible state retribution, their execution of photoshopped AI images has drawn criticism particularly from photojournalists and media scholars. These images distort reality and feed into the era of fake news and conspiracy theories, undermining the credibility of Amnesty's own work. Gareth Sella was blinded in his left eye during the protests in Bogota, so he could understand why Amnesty would hide the identities of the protesters to protect them from ending up in jail on inflated charges. He says that two years on, peaceful protesters still live in fear of being arrested. But leaking into the discussion is the fear of what AI-generated images could mean for the future of photojournalism, copyright laws, and the industry's ability to recreate reality. Photojournalist Juancho Torres highlighted the importance of journalists and their relationship with the public, and how photoshopped images can damage that connection by losing the reality behind the photographs. Amnesty has since removed the images from their social media accounts and expressed appreciation for the criticism they received, with Amnesty's director for America's Erica Guevara Rosa stating that they want to continue the engagement to ensure they understand better the implications and their role to address the ethical dilemmas posed by AI technology. The events that took place in Colombia in 2021 is a clear example of how technology brings more complexity and nuance to the conversation of ethics and human rights. AI technology can have its benefits, but it is essential to create relevant policies and check in with the public in order to avoid any misunderstanding. It is a warning for us, for when the same tech is used to manipulate facts or pass wrong information as real. We need to be careful and must ensure that investigations are thorough, data is reliable and nobody is underestimated.